Hello, welcome to another evolution video. In this episode we are going to show you the evolution of container ships. But before anything else please don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos. Container ship are cargo ships that carry all of their load in truck size intermodal containers. Either by ship crane or by port gantry crane. Container ship capacity is measured in 20 foot equivalent units or in TEU. In this video we are going to show you how container ship evolves from wooden cargo crate of the early 1900, up to the modern ultra-large container vessel of today. So let's get started. The first ships designed to carry standardized load units were used in the late 18th century in England. They are using wooden container box and crate for the shipment of goods and cargo. Handling of shipment in this time is not such efficient compared to today's modern method. Until 1964 the MV Coringa was the world's first fully cellular purpose-built container ship and was built by Australian company. This type of container vessels eliminate the individual hatches, holds, and dividers of the traditional general cargo vessels. The hull of a typical container ship is a huge warehouse divided into cells by vertical guide rails. These cells are designed to hold cargo in pre-packed units of containers. Containerization has lowered shipping expense and decreased shipping time, and this has in turn helped the growth of international trade. Today's modern container ship are distinguished into seven major size categories, the small feeder, feeder, feeder max, panamax, post panamax, new panamax, and the ultra large. First is the small feeder container ship, this ship has a capacity of up to 1000 TEU. Next is the feeder container ship, this ship has a capacity of 1000 to 2000 TEU. Next is the Feeder Max container ship, this ship has a capacity of 2000 to 3000 TEU. Mostly of this feeder type of container ship are fitted with built-in cargo cranes. They are designed to dock on small ports without gantry crane to load and unload containers. Next is the Panamax type of container ship, this ship has a capacity of 3000 to 5100 TEU. This type of container ship has a length of 294.13 meters, a beam of 32.31 meters, and draft of 12.04 meters. This type of ship is designed to pass through Panama Canal Old Lock. Next is the Post Panamax container ship, this type of ship has a capacity of 5100 to 10,000 TEU. And the new Panamax container ship. This type of ship has a capacity of 10,000 to 14,500 TEU. This type of container ship has a length of 366 meters, a beam of 49 meters, and a draft of 15.2 meters. This type of ship is designed to pass through the new Panama Canal lock which is wider compared to the old one. And finally the ultra-large container ship. This ship is designed to have a capacity of 14,500 TEU and above. This type of container ship has a length of up to 400 meters, and a width of 59 meters. This type of container ship are only able to transit on Suez Canal due to its large size. Mostly of the route of this ship is from Asia to Europe and vice versa. Making the shipment of cargo more efficient and economical. Because of its size and it can carry more containers. Some shipbuilding company are planning to build the largest container ship with a capacity of 22,000 TEU and a length of 450 meters, and width of 60 meters. In order to meet the growing demand of the future. So what did you think the future of container ships? Comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe, and hit that notification button. Thank you for watching.